Performance by Cassandra Adams. She's a senior in high school here at Slam Academy in Miami. Absolutely crushing it. And we're ready to go. Samuel Burgos is the uh, official. A couple of big guys in there. Cruiserweight title on the line. Anthony White Chocolate Martinez from Miami against Alejandro El Flaco Fajiga. Scheduled for eight. And we're underway here. The main event of the night of boxing in the 305. Got some big trees in that ring, my friends. Martinez in the white. Fayiga in the black with the white trim. No knockdown at the slip. Martinez 11 and 1. He's 23 years old, by the way. Clearly the hometown favorite. Scheduled for eight rounds. Vallega coming with that right. Putting his hands down. That's kind of interesting. In the corner, kind of says that, and Martinez is going to let him feel it a little bit. Let him feel his weight a little bit. Yeah, Martinez, phenomenal shape coming in here. Started boxing when he was eight years old. And Burgos saying, come on, man, that's enough of that. Martinez saying, quit pushing him down. He's putting what, uh, what, what Tyson Fury did to Deontay Wilder, just kind of leaned on him and leaned on him. But you got to be careful when you do this approach. It's one that can be risky. A thunderous left by Fayiga. And then Martinez says, here's take this one with you. He's trying to go a lot in the mind games. And down goes Fayiga with that liver shot. And Fayiga looking like he doesn't want any part of this. He barely gets up. And if Samuel Burgos asks him if he wants to fight. We're not long for this one at this rate. He goes down on one knee again. And now Burgos is going to call timeout. No, no knockdown. No. Going to call a slip. And Baiga's complaining that he, that I guess that he hit him in the back and not yes. in the liver. Baiga in a world of trouble. And this is the second time he complains of the same thing. Now you got to wonder yourself. 
How much of that is a complaint just to buy time after you're heavily hit? Well, that's what these veterans do. I mean, Faiga's got 50 fights under his, under his record. 50 fights. Down goes Faiga again, and now he's complaining they got hit in the back. And, and now I'll tell you this one. Down. He did get hit in the back, but after the fact. He was already on his knees when he got hit in the back in this time. Well, and also, Faiga's not exactly helping his own cause. And uh, Burgos is going to step in and says, you don't want to fight, and this fight is over, and that's that. Well, that was quite the statement for the local one. And, hey, if you're Martinez, you got to be incredibly excited right? for this result. Now, did we hear the bell, or did this, is this fight over? Because I thought I saw Samuel Burgos wave it off, but I guess he didn't. I guess he said the round ended. All right, so the round ended. I thought Faigo was done. I thought he was waving the fight off. And it is over. It is over. Yeah, three knockdowns and it's over. Yeah, and the state of Florida, as I'm reminded by the great judge Fernando Barbosa, that three, the state of Florida, three knockdowns and it's over. But I'll tell you what, for Fiaga, for Faiga, he... He, he, he didn't want any part of that because he kept going down. He kept going down to a knee. Now, he's going to say, hey, I got hit in the back. I was done. I was hurt. But Samuel Burgos, who's been around way too long, wasn't going to be fooled and said, all right, if you're going to keep going to a knee, we're going to keep calling it a knockout, and we're going to call it a night. Great job by Burgos and great job by Anthony Martinez, who continues his reign of excellence. 12 and 1 now. 11 of those wins by knockouts. On what turned out to be a bit of a mismatch. Just, I think the one time Faiga got hit, he's like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do this. And every time he got cornered, every time he got down in the corner, he just said, hey, I'm going to go down to a knee. Burgos let him have one. Well, Ladies he didn't call it. He called it a slip, but then he said the rest were not Your winner of the main event of the night, via TKO, Miami's own Anthony Martinez. Nice and easy for Anthony Martinez. There's his dad that he's hugging in a white shirt. Almost didn't break a sweat. I'm sure, we will talk to the champ. Amazing night of fights here on Fight. Happy you were along with us. Plenty more. Part of this Mundo Boxing Promotions group of Arturo Hernandez and Pedro Diaz. And now Anthony's going to have a couple, say a couple of words here to the crowd. It's his house. Hola, muchas gracias por todo bendito mundo. Agradecido todo el apoyo de ustedes. Se, se las reconoce. Muchas gracias a todos porque ustedes son los que hagan, son los que hagan el show. Y la verdad que yo trabajo todos los días para hacer, para hacer un buen trabajo, para que ustedes estén contentos. Muchas gracias a todos. Y mira, y quiero decirle cumpleaños a Yutani España. Oye, ven acá, ven acá. Mira. El cumpleaños de él es de febrero 12. Quiero felicitarlo porque la verdad que él y Pedro son igual que otros padres para mí. Yo lo quiero mucho porque me protegen en el ring donde yo estoy en peligro y siempre me protegen y hacen lo, hacen lo mejor para mí. Lo quiero mucho. One of his trainers, an ex-Cuban legend. Ex-Cuban uh, national. Fought Anthony, Triple G three times. So Jordanes de España's birthday. Let's go back up to Christian. What we saw from you, you came out as you should. Strong, powerful from the get-go. Although your opponent didn't seem pretty much that he was into it tonight. Yeah, yeah, I came, work, I came working hard. I, I stopped this my jab. I wanted to work his body, but I see, it seemed like it hurt his body. So every time I would get close to him, he would take a knee. And they would have to reset the whole time. But I knew that eventually I would catch him. Winning in Miami in front of everyone here supporting you and just doing it in this fashion, be a TKO, just dominant. How does that make your heart feel pumped? I mean, we saw you ask for the mic and, and uh, talk to everyone. What does this take you to as the next goal? Well, it's a blessing because all these people, every day, they support me. And, they, and they, even though 
I come here and I'm gone for a month, two months working out. They, I know that I always have the support of my family and those here. They always come out, they always support, and they always yell. And that, those, those, those yelling, them supporting me is what gives me fuel to keep on going. Are you, what are you ready next for? What? What are you ready for? I'm ready for all the contenders. I know, I can, I know I'm a contender fighter, and I'm keeping going up the rankings. And I know that I'm going to be the champion of the cruiserweight division and future heavyweight division. Give it up for Anthony Martinez. So we saw a magnificent fight night tonight. And, and indeed, it is time to hear precisely from another person that has been integral to the whole putting together of this. So Armando, we want to welcome you again. And just tell us, what do you see from this whole night? I mean, I hope all the fans enjoyed the experience. It was a, a lot of action, really quality fights. My boxing in the 305, we're bringing a real nice experience to Miami. We're here to stay. This is our first show here in Miami. We plan to do a lot more, so I hope everyone continues to follow us. And remember, it's a family team. I'm only one piece of it, but Pedro Diaz, Despa, Alfredito, and the whole entire team, Chris, it's all a collaborative effort. What was your takeaway from a night that brought us so many different situations and, and closed out with a very electric performance? I mean, the fight of Fatima, uh, Manny Correa, going the distance, just really exciting stuff. Uh, we look forward to continue to bring a premium fight experience to Miami. And, you know, I want to thank everybody that was a part of this. Paola from Global Legion, who was huge. Uh, I want to thank my wife, Aileen, for putting up with my patients during this entire time. I want to give a special thanks to my mom, who's in the front row there. And uh, just thank you to everybody for coming out. Miami, gracias a todos los que vinieron. Vamos a seguir a todos los patrocinadores. Eh, tenemos al comisionador George Forrest de Corey Gables, que está aquí. Muchísimas gracias. Tenemos muchos otros políticos. Joshua está aquí también, el councilman de Miami Lakes, uh, Hybrid Performance, Allure Realty. I want to thank you because you did an amazing job. Jim was amazing on the mic. I appreciate it. And thank you all. Thank you all for an amazing night. Well, you heard it from the man himself, and thank you for coming here for Mundo Boxing Promotions. This has been a magnificent fight night under the lights that only the 305 can give you. May it be many more, and may all of you get home or wherever you're going to. You know what? It's Miami. Go and party. Thank you for coming, and see you on the next time in Mundo Boxing Promotions.